and Europa Cantat number 20 in Estudia. Gonzalo Di Basata Astat Vanax. Estonia is celebrating his Andreas anniversary. Tere Tere Tulemas Mesuni Bava Peole. Welcome to our birthday party, 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 party. Loud music on the other way around the million leaves. There are a million ways to sing a song. Yo, Tulge Mela Gulla. Yo, 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 yo. Welcome to Estonia. The music commission uh, of the festival, which is composed of international musicians and the Estonian artistic committee part, they always try to define a couple of musical themes about the festival. And this year we have uh, time and singing. We have uh, Sing Outside the Box, which is about uh, very special ways, places, times and styles in singing. Uh, the, the audience may have uh, remembered the opening ceremony of the Europa Cantat Festival where La Raúl Talmar, the president of the Estonian Choral Association, was rapping his welcome speech in Estonian and English. And it was a surprise even to me. That was a real singing outside the box. Normally our festival that happens every three years, we gather between two and a half and three and a half thousand paying participants. This year we have almost four and a half thousand, so we were positively surprised. And then you add invited choirs and staff and guests, and we figured that altogether we have about six thousand people directly related to the festival in the city at the moment. The main part of the festival are the so-called big ateliers, where two or more choirs come together and work with a big conductor on a certain kind of repertoire. Sometimes it's only one big piece with orchestra, for example. Sometimes it's uh, one particular style. And they will present this concert to the audience in the end. I think some special highlights here are for sure the big Te Deum by Avo Pert, conducted by Tonio Kaljuste in the end, or also the Requiem by Craig, to mention two of the classical ateliers. Um, on the other hand, we offer a big style program uh, for pop and jazz ateliers, so they can sing like a big band, or they sing arrangements by the king singers. Others involve dancing, uh, involve kind of like musical things, so that we really try to offer something to everyone. We want to bring music out of holes and bring it to the people. And we want to find new ways to express ourselves mm, through music. Hopefully <laughs> we managed because we have done many things like for first time. First time we had promenade concert in Cultural Cauldron which means uh, choir concerts going on in four parallel halls and so people can walk in and out and listen to different choirs.
it's really awesome. It's uh, so, so many impressions. The vibe is just awesome. Like um, all the different choirs and then the compliments you get or just the openness that the, everyone has towards each other is really awesome. It's just amazing, yes. I always love Europa Cantas because uh, it's uh, always a meeting of friends. So people that I don't see from uh, years and years and uh, we come back in a place in the world and rediscover each other. We established some years ago a conductors and composers program where we offer a big range of styles of very interesting sessions by publishers, by composers or also by conductors to train a bit conductors that come without their own choir so that they get a chance to get a big overview about what is happening in choir music, what is new, or maybe they can learn things about vocal technique, uh, they can learn things about conducting, they can learn about educational systems, they can learn about um, ways to use the internet or use computers or mobile apps even to improve the choral music. Even when I was in school at the Music Academy, I felt very imprisoned by this that I am as a singer being told what to do, how to do it, when to do it, and most of the time I wasn't even told why. This workshop will be about the scenic person, not the private person. The, the person, the stage person. I'm so good at It's a great opportunity for us to, to learn new songs, to learn, to meet people involved in choral music and uh, a lot of students, a lot of conductors, many, many huge uh, and impressive festival. I, I love it. Sing Me In um, is a European cooperation project coordinated by the European Choral Association Europa Cantat. Um, we called it Sing Me In because it's about using collective um, singing as a tool to uh, include or integrate young migrants into their um, host countries. Um, so it was saying like use singing to get me into the society and um, we didn't want to restrict it to refugees but we also wanted to include migrants of second and third generation who have been living longer in the country but actually often have the same problems and so we got together partners from different countries and we collected tips and tricks on how can you do it if you want to do this kind of work and we created three handbooks that help you either if you want to work only with young refugees or you want to work in a school environment where you have a mixed group and you want to do something with them. Or maybe you have a normal youth choir and you would like to have more migrants in your choir. 
And then we tell them, this is what you can try out. This was successful in other projects. And we translated those three handbooks into 11 languages, including Estonian. So people can download them for free and use them. And we have a repertoire guide in English where you can find songs that work well in this context. So in the festival, what we did is that in the program for conductors and composers, we had a, a Sing Me In Day. And um, the next morning, actually, we had two discovery ateliers with music that you normally maybe don't hear in the frame of a European choir festival. One with uh, Turkish music, and especially one with Arabic music, with um, a conductor from Lebanon who is a Christian um, sister. And she sang Arabic music with the people just to show to them there are easy songs that you can learn and that anybody can learn and use. You have to open for Ayn. You have to open your mouth. Ayn. Ayn. It's impossible. No, no, it's not impossible. It's possible. Ayn. Ayn. A very important point for us in the festival is the education character of it. So, if our atelier concerts are in the end not absolutely perfect, it's not a problem. But the people that come here, they should exchange with one another. They should learn from a great conductor and they should go home and have the feeling, I was in Tallinn and I learned something. Ma arvan, et me saime juba täna selle, seda nõusutada, seda nende meetetud dirigeerimise mõtet praegu ja just praegu. Et me ei räägi selles, kuidas me hakkame esitama ja siis toodame seda, mida me oleme ette valmistanud, või et dirigendi keel, käe keel annab tempo ja artikulatsiooni meelolu dünaamika just seal ja sellel hetkel, et nad hakkavad mu käe järgi tegema, et nad on elassed, fleksibiilsed nendele asjadele. Selles suunas täna tekis mul niisugune õrn lootuse sõde. Kui Arvo Pärt selle kirjutas, ta kirjutas tõiti suurtele koosseisudele. Ta kirjutas selle suurel, kolmele suurele koorile. Aga kui hakkati seda ette kandma, siis ei õnnestunud mitte kuskil. Ja me esimese plaadi ja tegime, me lahutasime selle just niisugust väikesteks detailideks, sest kogu maailmal ja Arvo Pärdi muusikat kuulnud läbi Hilliard Ensemble, selguse puhtuse. Ja see suure kõla, suure koossisuga selle puhtuse saavutamine on tohutult raske, et see ei tõesti ka õnnestuks. Nii et on Need esimesed hetked, kui ma seda kõla kuulsin, siis need olid küll palju lubavad, et siit tuleb väga kaunis. Tegemist ei ole selles, et kas nad teenivad oma elatist laulmisega või mitte. Nagu iluideaalides on küsimus. Mõned taidluskoorid võivad mõnikord ületada kutseliste laulet kvaliteeti.
What is very important that this is a very young festival. It's almost more than 50% of the participants are below 27 years of age. And this makes this festival a wonderful mix of various generations. I think the workshop was amazing. All the work we did with Panda and Hans, thank you so much. And the show we had, it was so much fun just to perform. The feelings we got from everyone here, thank you so much, it was amazing. I'm not worried actually about the future of choral music. I think that choral music touches the heart of people more than any other kind of music because the voice is your inner instrument. And when you use this in the right way and when you use this as a devoted musician, then you can basically get every audience to love what you do. I think that from the very beginning, when we thought about uh, bringing Europa Cantat here, we said that we would like to do it with the Stone Celebrate's uh, 100th anniversary. And actually, we organized special concerts in Song Festival Ground called Happy Birthday Estonia. So, all these more than 5,000 guests go there to the famous Shell stage to sing for Estonia. In several, several languages, we are singing Happy Birthday to you and also many other songs.
Great experience singing with not hundreds but more like thousands of people on the same yeah. stage and uh, being able to celebrate 100 years Estonia. Woo! Happy and birthday! I, and I'm really surprised that people don't do this more often because I think it's like super cool to sing with so many people and it's like yeah quite easy if you just read the, if you can read the notes and stuff so yeah I think we should do it in more countries I really like it yeah. Terv6 <laughs> Oh wow, it was amazing. It was amazing to be able to sing with so many people and to hear so many great, great, great choirs. And I was just, ah, uh, fantastic. I learned quite a lot in these workshops and it was very nice to meet all these conductors and other singers and yeah, to just talk and connect. That was the best thing, I guess, for me. My highlight was, of course, the concert of the Euro Choir because I was I could sing there and that was amazing and yeah, this is the most amazing experience actually to be part of Euro Choir. <laughs> I can recommend that. Uh, all, all in like a perfect experience. Definitely doing, doing the same in Slovenia in 2021. <laughs> <laughs>